Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Um, this week I'm going to be talking to you about what it's like to live in Bondi Beach. I currently live in Bondi and I know that it's one of the most popular places to live when people move to Sydney. Um, there are definitely some positives and negatives that I have discovered since living here, um, which might you know, affect your option of whether you choose to live here. So I just thought I would share them with you. We can talk about Bondi, talk about the positives, the negatives and all that stuff. Um, and yeah, hopefully it will be helpful. So if you're interested in this, then keep watching. Okay, so let's get straight into it. Um, I've made some notes because there are a few things that I want to touch upon. Um, also, I look very, very pale today and the sun is beaming. It's like officially spring slash summer now because it's like 27 degrees. So I cannot wait after I film this video, I'm going to be on Bondi Beach sunbathing and sorting out these pale, pale arms. But anyway, I'm going to start with the um, negatives because I think the positives are probably a lot more well known. And also, let's finish it on like a good side. We'll finish it with the positives so we'll feel good. Um, so when I was thinking about the negatives of living here, there are three main things that came to my mind like straight away. So the first thing is the housing slash accommodation that you find here. Um, compared to the city, um, so like the CBD area, it, the houses here are very, very old. Um, they're not as modern in any way. But unfortunately, they're not like old houses that um, have had like a modern twist. They're just very, very old. They've been left that way. Um, I don't entirely know why. Like I genuinely don't know why they don't like refurb them all because it would make them so much, it would make them so much nicer. They'd be able to sell them for so much more. But yeah, weirdly enough, all of the houses, or like I would say like 80% to 90% of the houses or apartments that you can find in Bondi Beach are very rustic, I would say. And with rustic houses, you do get like, you get different issues. Like, I don't know how to say this in a nice way, but some of them just don't seem very clean. Um, some of them you'll have like a lot more um, wildlife I'll say like in summer it gets really hot and there are cockroaches in Australia in a way that I didn't know about at all before I moved out here and in the rustic houses you are more likely to find like bugs and spiders it's not like they're gonna be all over the place and to be perfectly honest you're gonna find them in I would say any apartment or house that you live in in Sydney um, but I, from my experience, when I lived in a rustic house, like a rustic apartment, that was the time that I would have, that I would see like cockroaches and that like you'd have to deal with the cockroach problem and that you also saw the huntsman spiders, which are the very well-known spiders that you see probably on Facebook. Um, they're absolutely huge. They look like this, I'll put a photo in, um, but they're harmless, but they're huge. So they're quite terrifying still. So you're probably thinking, okay, well, it's an old house in Bondi Beach, so at least I'll be paying a little bit less because the house isn't as modern. Um, you would be wrong. <laughs> the housing and apartments are so much more expensive in Bondi Beach than they are compared to the city where the apartments are nicer and more modern. Obviously, it's a very, very obvious reason why that is. You are paying to be so close to the water. You're paying to be right next to the beach, but it's definitely something to consider because you would either have to up your budget to stay at your level of comfort that you that you know and that you want to stay to or you would have to decrease your maybe comfort level and go for a place which is a bit more rustic um, and less modern than usual. I don't want to seem all doom and gloom about the housing and the rent situation as I am being very broad um, but as a whole that is the situation in Bondi Beach. The houses and the apartments are quite rustic. They're, they're quite old fashioned buildings and you will be paying a lot for your accommodation. You will actually find this to be true for all of the Eastern suburbs that are right by the beach. So you've got Bondi Beach, Bronte, Tama, um, Kaji, Maroubra. You'll find that places are a lot more expensive simply because they're closer to the beach and you're basically paying to have a beach on your doorstep. There are obviously exceptions to this. Um, when I was looking for places to live, because I'm currently moving, um, I found that if I was looking for an apartment, apartments seem to be a bit more modern than houses. The houses are definitely the most rustic. So if you have a, if you 
have the flexibility to be hunting for a little bit. You should be able to find somewhere that's not like totally, totally rustic. But honestly, you would be surprised at some of the places that, like some of the places that I've gone to view, the photos look so nice and then you get there and it's like, it's so old fashioned and like the walls are like, like crumbling a little bit and it's like, oh yeah, they're like, oh, it's an old house. And it's like, oh my gosh, I wouldn't expect it from the photos. So they are the two main negative things about living in Bondi Beach, the old fashioned houses and the rents. There's also a third, but it's not really as main of an issue. And that is um, things to do when there's bad weather. Like <laughs> literally, there's nothing to do in Bondi Beach when it's raining. And surprisingly, it does rain. I genuinely didn't think it rained at all in Australia. I don't know why I didn't think that it rained. Like obviously it rains. But anyway, when it does rain in Bondi Beach, there's literally nothing to do here. And rain here is um, different to them back home. It doesn't just like drizzle, like when it rains, it's like a storm, it's powerful. You cannot go out in it because like the rain is like horizontal coming up from the ground, like it's an absolute nightmare. So you really do just have to stay in. There aren't any like day activities inside that you can do. Quickly, we will move on to talking about the benefits of Bondi Beach. These are obviously, I feel like very, very obvious. I think a couple are obvious, but I think there's a couple that I only found out about when I moved here, which are really nice and like keeps me in Bondi now. So one of the first and main obvious reasons is Bondi Beach. Ta-da! It's absolutely stunning. The coaster walks that you get to go on, um, not just only Bondi Beach, you've got all of the Eastern suburb beaches. So they're like right on your doorstep if you don't know what to do for a day and it's sunny, then you can just go on coastal walks. It's literally what I've been doing every single day in lockdown and it's just absolutely stunning. Like, I don't think I'll ever be sick or be tired of walking down to the beach and seeing Bondi or walking around to Bronte and like standing on the big rocks and looking down at the sea and just thinking like, how even is this my life? Like, how do I live here? Um, so yeah, Bondi Beach is amazing. Um, obviously the sea, you can go swimming whenever you want. That is one of the main benefits of living by Bondi Beach. And for me, that main reason alone, being so close to the beach, having the sea on my doorstep, having all these amazing coastal walks, that already overcomes all of the negatives that I just spoke about. But obviously other people have different preferences. Uh, maybe people don't like the beach or something like that. So negatives and positives wouldn't weigh up as much for you. Another fun fact, which is something that I only learned when moving out to Bondi, uh, there is a massive uh, like UK visa and um, Irish visa community out here. Um, there are so many English and Irish people. It really makes you feel very at home when you're walking along the promenade on the beach and you just hear like a group of like English girls or a group of Irish lads um, just talking. It just makes you feel very at home. Um, it makes you feel like you're not actually that far away from England. Um, and it's just, yeah, it's just like a nice little home comfort. And so when you go out for drinks and stuff, like you'll meet English people, you'll meet Irish people. It's just a nice community feeling, like knowing that you're all like, in the same situation together like you're all really far away from home but you're all out here living your best lives basically <laughs> my final benefit of something that is like really great about living in bondi beach is that there's always so much to do on the weekend um weather permitting obviously and um, there are loads of food and bars and like drink places food bars that's pretty much it isn't it to go to on the weekends like friday to sunday is usually out of lockdown booming like you'll always have somewhere to go there's always somewhere new to try um it's just a um, really good social area to live um this is in comparison to if you lived in the city because the city is pretty much dead on a weekend um it's where the cbd is so it's obviously the central business district um so apart from like the big shopping centres that are in the central business district, you you actually struggle trying to find somewhere to go for food on the weekend in the city. Um, like that's happened to me so many times that like, we've been in the city for the day and then we look, try and find somewhere to go for dinner and like everywhere's shut. The city is fairly dead on a weekend compared to like eastern suburbs. So yeah, out of lockdown, it's a very, very sociable place to be. You will never be lost for things, for places to go for food or drink. Um, and it's, 
it's really fun. <laughs> so that is pretty much all of the positives and negatives that I have that I think about Bondi Beach. I just wanted to say one thing, obviously for me personally, the massive benefits have outweighed the negatives of living in Bondi Beach, which is why I've chosen to live here. Um, I have also lived in the city, um, you know, I've lived in other areas and Bondi for me is just like the perfect place. But as like a viewer or if you're moving or potentially moving to Bondi Beach, just have a think about the positives and the negatives that I've like said today. Um, and I think that'll give you like a good indication of whether Bondi is a place for you, like if it's going to be a place you enjoy or maybe you want to look at other areas in Sydney. Um, but yeah, I hope this has been helpful for you. Um, it's absolutely boiling now, so I am going to get my bikini on and go to the beach because I can, because I live in Bondi. <laughs> but thank you very much for watching this video um, and I'll see you next week. Bye.